Well, welcome to this video. We have some really fun things coming up. The first thing is I want to make the shop beautiful. So I've got started getting all my tools organized and I don't have enough wall space. So in order to do what I want to do, I had to, well, let me change the direction a little bit. I had to change the greenhouse just a little bit, not a lot. I needed more wall space. So the, the greenhouse is still the same inside and I hope to get onto that very soon, getting things growing in there. But for now, I need to paint this wall. I have some other things coming in that's gonna be really fun. Uh, should be in any, probably when this video comes out, I'll have received it already. But I'll put that on in but for now, I gotta paint the wall. Because I have a paint, <laughs> have a paint, because I have a dog and paint, they don't mix. So Kaya's outside on a leash just for a minute till I get the, the painting done. All right. I like to use white because it brightens everything up. I'll tune that up a little bit more, and then I'll put a second coat on. It should be perfect. I need to secure the wall. It's only kind of a, a light, half-hearted wall. <laughs> you can see there's a little movement. I'll fix that at some point. Shorten it up a little bit because it's got plenty of storage for drills and chucks and all that. So I'm going to paint this. Going to paint this wall white. It's just uh, I'm letting the OSB hang out. It's a little floppy. I don't really care about that. I think it should be fine. If I have to, I can add add some uh, framing later on. Hey, uh, so today I brought in Chad. He's going to do all the cutting for me and do, uh, do the shelving so I can <clears throat> put the shelving up. Uh, but I'll just call out measurements to him. He'll cut them to length. The, the first one... Oops! <laughs> is this one that I filled full of holes. Chad's going to cut it to uh, 24 inches long, so I'll be cutting some of these holes off but it'll fit over there. Let's take a look at that. It'll just be going over here. Oh, <laughs> who's this? It's my old bud, Dan. He's here. Uh, he's gonna be ready for break. He's brought the food. He's a pretty good cook. He does a good job. So anyway, the uh, um, shelving for all the drill drill bits and uh, chucks I wanted here so that let me back you guys up I 
I wanted all the drill bits and chucks here so that when I grab a drill, if I'm working on something, it's all right in this area, so it's not a lot of walking around or less walking around. So that's, that's the goal, to get these shelves up. So I screwed the brackets on beforehand. Now let's see. Thought it'd be a lot easier. Nice. Let's see how that looks with some bits and chucks in it. All right. Let's see. Got these Forstner bits. Hey. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, they do fit. I'm sure I hadn't had these big enough. I painted, so uh, I think maybe some of the paint, oh, those are sharp. I think some of the paint filled in the holes. I'll work on that. And we've got some big bits. That's interesting. Ream those out a little. So these, I'll put some uh, electric tape. I'll just show you. I'll just build it up so it doesn't go down through the hole. Won't bore you with all of that. I'll fill this up. We have some, uh, also some, some other items. I'll get them all on there, nice and organized. Then, when I want something, I can come right over and see it. And I'm just putting up some uh, light duty brackets here. <laughs> So this, hand, this will be really handy for like four foot T-squares. Probably make something to hold these, the two foot squares a little bit better. Four foot pipe clamps. I may put these up here. I don't want to block them in. A couple of shorter shelves. I'll put maybe one up above and one below. I need a place to secure all of my screws and nails so that they're handy. I think I'm thinking maybe down low because they're kind of heavy. So I'll put them down there. Well, yeah. Okay. Hey. Here we are. We're in the brand new shop. Uh, it's kind of Kind of the idea of like what Norm Abrams did for the old, uh, the new Yankee workshop. Just had it all set up so that you could walk. He probably could walk blindfolded and find uh, the tool that he wanted. I don't know. Anyway, I've got, I've, I'm done for now setting up my shop. I've spent, I've spent uh, a couple days anyway just getting this section organized with the help of Chad and Dan. They contributed a little bit, they kind of looked on. But anyway, we got, so over here, let's look at this. I love it. You see this? Empty shelf space. I don't know how long that will last. Probably not very long. We, and we have some over there. My, my goal is to have 
have the shop all set up so that uh, I can, whatever the project is that would be in the middle here, whatever that is, uh, I can walk all the way around it and find tools easily just to grab them. I have the compressor over there, air hoses, I have all the nail guns, pneumatic and battery operated. Um, I've worked on the DeWalt nailers a little bit. It, there's a, 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 there's a, a little emblem on all of these. And maybe if, if maybe you folks would know and you can tell me. Right there it says do not, well, oil can, gun with a circle and red line, don't, don't oil it. Well, we found that we kind of needed to put a few drops of like WD-40, something like that in there so that the, that would go well. And it made the nails slide a lot better so that they worked well when it hit the driver. The driver is starting to get a little bit worn. I think it's close to $100 just for the driver repair kit. So currently they're, they're all working. We'll see how that runs. Hi, Kaya. How you doing? I have like jigsaw, all the drills. It's so, so convenient now. I can just go over and grab it, whichever chuck I want. I'm really excited. So why, why am I doing this? Because I'm going to build something in here and probably tomorrow I'm going to order the materials and get it delivered and I'll get started on, on building it. I'm pretty excited about this. It's a, Kind of a change from what I normally do. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I want to, I want to keep it a secret, but okay. I'm going to build a playhouse. Big deal, right? Well, it's going to be a six foot wide, 10 foot long, kind of a, a two pitch roof with a porch. It has windows. I got these cute windows. I found these online. They're like uh, uh, $59 or something like that. So we'll be putting, I'll be putting those in there in the playhouse. And a nice little door on the front. I'll cut a heart into the door or something uh, just so it looks real pretty and a nice handrail. This one, this particular one's going to have clapboards on it. And the roof is going to be cedar shingle. And the trim will just be, uh, it'll be pine. And Lauren helped me pick out the paint colors. So I am just really excited about this. Building something in here while it's zero degrees outside. That is just going to be a novel idea. I've done it for 35 years. I've worked out there in the winter when it's 20, 30 below, nailing on vinyl siding. And I'll tell you, that's not fun. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this, this project being inside where it's warm. And I don't know how long it'll take me. Um, depends on how many interruptions, but I'm thinking it's it, probably like uh, four videos to do that, to do the whole thing. Uh, and I'll show it step by step. Yes, so that's that. One or two other little things. You can see this door here. I, the door has been there forever. I think it's been, oh, I bet it's been five years anyway since I opened this door and went outside. I have a, an overhang out there that's closed in. Maybe you can see some of the lumber out there. It's kind of just a cold storage area. But in the process of just getting completely organized, the nice thing about when when you're, when you're working just by yourself, you can find, typically if you put it back, you'll know where you put it back, whatever tool it was. But when there's been three of us pulling out of a trailer, some, everybody puts things in a different spot. Or at the end of the day, we just throw it in and figure, okay, that's what we're going to use the next day, so it's right there, we'll pull it out. So things get lost. I've already found Um, five or six of these. I've, I bet I've bought, I don't know, I don't know if I've bought a hundred of these in my lifetime, but they just disappear. And I've 
as I've been cleaning out the trailer, I've been finding a lot of these. So that's nice. I can have different size tips in the chucks and just slip them right into the drill and away we go. Okay, one, one last thing. I wanted to show you my famous workbench. This has been in a few videos where I cleaned it off and it was beautiful. Not so much right now. That's the last of my shop that I've got to clean up. I'm going to clean, I need to be able to have access, access to the wrenches and all of that and just get things the way I want it. So um, that'll get, I'll have time before the materials come for this next project to get that cleaned up. I want it so that, not, not so I can eat off the floor. Speaking of the floor, <laughs> I'm rambling a little bit. I contemplated painting the floor because it's had, it's been painted on so many times. It's got paint spots all over the place. But then I thought, you know, I'm going to be painting. I'm still going to be painting and I'm probably still going to get paint on the floor. So, and, and uh, if you paint the floor, I think there's going to be a tendency for it to, without putting a lot of time into it, it's going to peel and whatnot. So I don't think I'm going to paint the floor. Kai is just as happy one way or the other. But anyway, so I'm going to clear that out, clean it up, get further organized. Who knows what I'll find? Oh, look. <laughs> these, I know a lot of you know what these are. They're uh, stair guides. They go on a, a right angle or a, a two foot square for cutting out stair treads. I bought two pairs of those this year. There's one there and there's another one here. So I'm pretty sure, look at that, I'm already, I've already got something organized. So I think there's uh, going to be two more sets of those and I'll, I've got the uh, two foot squares behind you and all the pipe clamps and all of that. So this is just kind of a, a quick overview video of before I start a winter project in here. I'm really excited. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll uh, tag along with this kind of Norm Abrams style video. It'll be instructional, uh, a lot of practical building techniques in typical construction, just building a playhouse though. So all right, thanks and we'll see you later.